Hot or Not is a game for two to four players grades two and up. The object of the game is to increase understanding of place value and gain practice with number names. To start, each player will need a scrap piece of paper and something to write with. The youngest player begins the game as the number creator. The number creator writes down a four digit number on a piece of paper that the other players will try to guess. This is referred to as the target number. Make sure to fold the paper in half to keep the target number hidden from the other players. Each player writes their guess on a piece of paper. The player to the left of the number creator, in this case the purple player, reads their number aloud, making sure to say the full number name. The purple player guessed 4,932. The number creator responds by naming the places of the digits that are hot, warm, and cold. Hot means that the digit is correct, so it is in the target number and it is in the correct place. Warm means that the digit is correct, but not in the correct place. Cold means that the digit is not correct, so the digit is not in the target number at all. As the number creator, I would compare the purple player's guess of 4,932 to the number that I wrote down, 3,046. I can see that she has two warm digits, the four and the three, and two cold digits, the nine and the two. So this is what I would say. You have a warm digit in the thousands place, a cold digit in the hundreds place, a warm digit in the tens place, and a cold digit in the ones place. The purple player marks each digit with either an H, W, or C to keep track of the clues given. She uses these clues to form her next guess. Since both the nine and two are cold, she knows that they are not in the target number. She decides to try a new digit in the thousands place. She knows that the three and four are in the wrong places and needs to move them. And she tries another new digit in the ones place. Now it is the green player's turn to guess. She reads her number to the number creator, 7,198. Looking at my number, I can see that she has no matching digits. Her entire guess is cold. I would let her know that her thousands place is cold. And so are the rest of the digits. The green player uses a different method of keeping track of her clues. When a digit is cold, she just crosses it out. The good news is that she now knows of four digits that are not in the target number. For her next guess, she tries all new digits. Now it is the purple player's turn to guess again. She guesses 1,345. She is getting closer to the target number. The thousands and ones places are cold, but the hundreds place is warm, and the tens place is hot. She uses these clues to make another guess. She tries a six and a seven since she has not guessed those digits yet and needs to get rid of the one and the five. She keeps the four in the tens place because it is hot and tries the three in the ones place. Back to the green player. She guesses 2036. The digit in the thousands place is cold, but her hundreds and one digits are both hot. She circles her hot digits. The tens place is warm, so she underlines the three. These clues help her out a lot. She knows that the zero and the six are both in the correct places, and the three has to move to the thousands place since it is the only place left to try. She puts a five digits in the tens place and she hasn't tried that yet. It's the purple player's turn again. She guesses 6,743. I let her know that the thousands place and the ones place have warm digits, the tens place is still hot, and the hundreds place is cold. The only place that the three has not been in is the thousands place, so she knows it goes there. She moves the six to the hundreds place, keeps the four in the tens place, and looks back to see which digit she has not tried yet. She decides to try a zero in the ones place. The green player guesses 3056. She is so close. All of her digits are hot except for the tens digit. She knows that her hundreds and one places are still hot, and I let her know that her thousands digit is also hot but the tens place is cold. Although the tens place could be a repeated digit, like another three or six, the green player decides to try the only digit that she has not played yet. She puts a four in the tens place. I can see that she has guessed the target number and let her know that all of her digits are hot. The green player wins the round. It's time to start a new round. For the next round, the purple player will be the number creator and the green and blue players will try to guess her target number. They will continue to play until all players have had a turn to create a number. Here are some questions to think about while you play.
To modify the game, you can play with three digit numbers instead of four digit numbers. You can also split the players up into two teams instead of playing as individual. I hope you enjoy playing Hot or Not. Thanks for watching.